Hello everybody, today I'll be showing you how to get five bleed weapons which you probably don't have. The reason why you probably don't have them is because they're all um, dropped by enemies that you've um, defeated. So you, get, so you have to farm them. And I'll be showing you the locations and how to farm them um, throughout the Elden Ring world. So first off, because we're farming them um, and we want to increase our chances of getting these weapons, I've equipped myself with the Silver Tear Mask and also with the Silver Scarab. And what this does is it brings up our chances to receive the drops that we want from the um, enemies that we defeat. Okay, so for weapon number one, we have the Vulgar Militia Saw. So if we take a look, so this is um, has the attributes required of Strength of 15 and Dexterity of 13, and the attribute scaling are Strength and Dexterity. And the causes blood loss buildup of 55 when uh, at the base. I haven't upgraded any of these weapons. So, it's a pretty cool um, animation when you double yield them. So, it uh, looks good. And the way to get these, what we gotta do is we have to... I'll show you where we gotta go on the map. We gotta go up here. So you wanna fast travel to Ferrum Great Bridge, which I'll do right now. Okay, since we're up here, what we want to do is, um, you probably, everybody probably has been up here when the, this is like one of the first uh, places to farm runes. So, we're going to get these little guys dressed in black here. And you want to defeat them. And, and the, that's one of the guys that has um, the weapon we're looking for. And you want to just go back. Go to the Touch of Grace. And then just for it to repeat. Until he drops the, the weapon we're looking for. So here's a quick demonstration of the weapon. So our second weapon that we're going to go for is called the Grave Sith. Scythe? Sith? I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. So we'll take a look at it. So this one, it takes the strength of 17 and dexterity of 13 to use. And the attribute scaling is also with strength and dexterity. And also I like to add that all these weapons, you can also um, apply Ashes of War to all of them. So here's the, when you have to double it, here's the, the series of moves it does. So I'll show you how to get these right now. So what you want to do is we, want, we have to f go to the Touch of Grace of the one behind the um, Stormvale Castle which is uh, called Lake Facing Cliffs, which I'll fast travel right there right now. So once here, what we want to do is um, we want to go to the graveyard right over here. And then there will be three baddies that will appear, and we want to defeat those three baddies. So there's the first one. And we gotta kill them twice. And then there's two more that comes up here. So we defeat this one. And let's defeat the second one. 
second. So those are the three uh, baddies we want. And what we do is um, we didn't well, we didn't get anything here, so we just gotta go back to the Grace. Rest at it, and then we go back to the uh, graveyard site, and we defeat the three enemies again. When we rinse and repeat until we receive the um, graveyard Sith uh, site, uh, until we've received one or two of them, it's up to you guys. Just a quick demo of this uh, new weapon. Alright, so here's the weapon number three, the chain link flail. Um, this is a pretty unique weapon. I haven't seen um, a lot of people using it. And we'll take a look, quick look at it. So this one is, um, the attributes required is a strength of 18 and the dexterity of 12 and the attribute scaling is also by um, strength of C and dexterity dexterity of E and the uh, causes blood loss at 50 this is like a base weapon I haven't upgraded or anything so if we take a look at the moves that's so uh, the normal the strong and then the special move and then you can just do a there you go. And to get this weapon, I'll show you where we're at right now. So we're way up north in the Altus Plateau. And what you have to do is you have to either come to the um, Road of Inquiry side path or you can go to the Bridge of Inqui Inquiry. And what we're going to do is there's going to be a caravan here. We just go to a caravan and I'll show you which uh, baddie we have to kill to try to farm this um, flail. So we're gonna, uh, there's a caravan up ahead there. So what we wanna do is there's gonna be a pumpkin head and that's the guy we want, we're gonna go after. So, let's say if you don't, um, after killing this first pumpkin, if he doesn't drop, you can try also, there's a second place you can go for a second chance for a pumpkin head. Just go over here towards, um, head west, right over here. And then there's a pumpkin head right over here. So then you go back to either of uh, the graces that we um, I showed you and then you just rinse and repeat always attacking the caravan and this pumpkin head, the both pumpkin heads until you can uh, you get the drop of the um, flail. Okay, so now we're up to weapon number four which is the forked greatsword. So we're going to take a quick look at the stats here. So this one you need the uh, if you want to, sorry better look at it. So the the attributes is you need a the attributes required is a strength of fourteen and a dexterity of sixteen, and the S scaling is with strength and dexterity also, and causes blood loss of fifty five at the base. 
So it's, it's just like any normal great sword. Here's the moves. That's the normal moves. Here's a strong one. And to get this one, this one's very easy to get. Um, all we have to do is, um, I'm, I'm right next to the um, Magic Academy, and we want to go down south, and we want to go to this cave right here, the Rhodes Ends Catacomb. So you can fast travel to this foot of the four belfries or at the Revenger's Shack. And then once we're there, I'll show you how to find the location to get there. So like I said, we're just going to go south here. I'm gonna go to the right of the elder tree here. the Revenger Shack, so we still go south. And then right over here, to right. Just keep on going, take this path here. Pass those bats. And there's the entrance of the cave right here. So here's the grace. So from the grace right here, well, all we have to do is we just go down the stairs here. And there's going to be a bad guy right right to the corner here. So that's the guy you want to kill and then all we have to do is just run back up here and then reset the grace and then go back down the stairs and we defeat this bad guy like I just did. And we rinse and repeat until the drops the Forge Greatsword. Here's another demo of the Greatsword. So for our weapon at number five, the final one, we have the Thorn Whip. So there you have it. This is what it looks like when you use it. In the strong move. So let's take a look at, the, uh, look at the attributes for this one. So what the attributes required is the strength of 8 and dexterity of 16. And the scaling is with strength of E and dexterity of C. And also this is a um, base weapon. I haven't upgraded it. And to get this one, what you, what you have to do is you, we have to go to the mountain tops of the giant. I'll show you where we're at right now. So I'm all the way up here. So what you want to do is you want to find this giant's mountain tops catacombs and grab the grace there. And what you want to do is you come down here. And the person that drops this is see the big guy with the flaming um, helmet there. That's who you want to defeat. Uh, and farm to drop this to get this um, the thorn whip and you defeat him and if he doesn't drop it you go back to the catacomb touch 
go to the grace, reset everything, come back here, and uh, defeat them. I'll show you where the catacombs are, just to make sure you don't get lost. So it's just over here. There's the entrance right there. And then there's the grace right here. You run back here. And then there's the bad guy right there. So there you have it, um, five bleed weapons that, um, like I've stated, you probably don't have because we have to farm them, and if you went through Elden Ring the first time, or you're going through it, if you kill these individuals, you probably, if you get lucky, you might get it, but uh, a lot of people will miss them. And also, as a reminder, all the weapons, you can um, put Ashes of War on all of them, so you have that part, so you can do like a bleed with frost or bleed with poison combinations with all these weapons. Hopefully you've enjoyed the weapons and you, you can use this if, if you know everybody uses using the rivers of blood. So these are other options if you get tired of using that if you want to try something else new. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, leave any comments. I appreciate the feedbacks and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much.